of Emma on relationships. At the last episode, uh, one of my ex-boyfriends found it, sent me this nasty email saying like, oh my god, like, you're like so arrogant, you actually think you're that attractive, and you know, blah 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 blah. So I decided the time was right to do an episode on how to deal with your crazy exes. My first question is, have you had any particularly bad exes? Yes. Yeah, I think I probably have two guys I'd call like my ex, right? One of them was terrifying, one of them was a great ex, basically. Um, the bad ex was pretty awful. <laughs> pretty awful. Yes, I have. Pretty much like one out of all of them was really bad. We were in the same group in a class, and like it was assigned groups, kind of. And it, he kind of screwed me over once in a class, which is just totally not chill, right? Like. I didn't really know her very well when I started dating her, right? And um, after a couple weeks, I just found out some pretty ridiculous shit about her. Like, like apparently she tried to kill herself, and I was like, I want to dump her, but she might go kill herself or do something to crazy. He was like, you were responsible for all of my problems. Everything that, you know, you ruined my life and everything is your fault now. After I broke up, he, he used to cut himself. It was, it was really like the big cry for attention thing, and I think the right thing would have been to make him get the attention from his his friends. I basically played along for like several months and then she like dumped me. So I was like good, but then I felt kind of strange. And it's really affected to this day like how I approach like the opposite sex. What was the best way to like deal with them ultimately, do you think? Looking back on it, um, when your ex does stuff like, like you know, you know how sometimes like your your ex would like use like scare tactics and stuff. It's like not to cave. I caved. Like I was far too nice at the beginning. When we broke up, I should have been like, look, we shouldn't hang out. To not be a jerk about it, but be like, look, you're fucking nuts. I don't think I can deal with this. I don't want to be in this situation. It's too much pressure. Okay, this is how I say it. If you can be friends with your ex, I think that's great. However, if it doesn't look like that's going to happen, um, I think that your best bet is to actually kind of try to out-crazy your ex because you're better off being the psychotic ex than you are having a psychotic ex. Um, anyway, uh, that's all I have for today. I hope to see you next time.